Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn your post notifications on and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend if you really enjoy this content. And if you're already in my channel, in my family, thank you so much for the support. You know, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. So today we're going to you know we're going to um to watch uh what the Myers interview you know by Mungai Eve and so apparently they're going to talk about how Wodemaya hired six bodyguards while in Somalia okay so let's see what this is all about because I thought Somalia is safe so let's see um how this one goes this is Wodemaya Mungai yeah I'm not pronouncing it Mungai Eve yeah I have to explain the name man forgive me yeah but I love your channel man I love how you watch my videos so you think I don't know you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know me. What are you saying? Are you yeah. okay? Let me tell you something about yourself. Yeah, uh, I know the same lady who goes to the hood. I mean, bring creativity or out of people. Whatever they're doing, you tell their story. Mm. Or oh, it's not you. It's me. In the ghetto. I can even tell you how many subscribers. Oh my goodness, that's an honor. I I understand why she's she's so surprised right now. Because, um, you know, I mean, it's Wodemaya. He's, uh, he's one of the biggest African YouTubers and the fact that he watches her. And I think he watches her because her content is unique. You know, her content is unique and she's, you know, she's impacting lives just the way Wodemaya likes, you know, impacting people's lives. So I'm not surprised. What's up now? Uh -huh. 98.6. Oh. That was yesterday. Today I'm at 99 point. Okay, I'm so sorry. The last time I watched your video was yesterday. Yeah. So I, I saw 98.6. Wow. You, you see? Thank you so much. Oh, come on. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I, I love your creativity. I love the fact that you bring in different part of Africa to us because, you know, we all want to be in the street of, I mean, Nairobi, but you are taking us to the hood, man. Yeah. I mean, we need to share mm. these stories. And sure. Exactly. Share those stories because they also need, you know, we need to voice them as well. They need a platform as well. And it's a unique way, you know, it's a unique way of standing out, you know, because YouTube, the YouTube jungle, people are actually doing the same thing. And so I feel that it's good to be unique or if you're doing the same thing as others, just to, to be, to bring in your signature, your personality, something different, you know, just do it, but in a different way. Believe me, I'm a fan, man. It's wow. good to see you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Um, <laughs> I'm a friend to Trudy. I'm okay. also, a, I'm also your biggest fan, by the way. Oh you wow! Know, sometimes I've made it in life. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you, are, you post your videos so late, and I have to watch because the, I have turned on the notification bell. Oh. It's disturbing me. I'm about to sleep, but I have to watch, you know. Oh, and there is a time you. you went missing. I don't know why. I went what? You went missing. Missing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, um. I have a plan to study this month. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to school this month. Mm -hmm. So I decided not to upload videos. Mm -hmm. But I have over 50 unedited videos. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm starting to upload. So if you're also planning to start YouTube, that is something that I've learned myself. You need to plan in advance. You need to make videos in advance. So you have videos running um, because you can't afford to go missing for even a week on YouTube. You have to be consistent and that's how you get to grow on YouTube this month ah, you better so this start month because... i'm just gonna be away just in school and then come back in july mm. okay yeah, it's just a short time the whole of june yeah? get... the whole of june no. not for the mile on no. youtube no, I'm going no, to no, get no, no, no 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 i mean i have content mm. yeah. that I, I kept from the whole of last month okay. we are uploading it in june oh. because i'm away oh. so you still have content to enjoy don't worry <laughs> i'll never go away for that long hey, hey. you're not supposed to you <laughs> know oh, oh, never. Never. Oh, Demaya, yeah. how does this feel to be in kenya I mean, I, I love coming back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya is actually one of my first African countries that I ever visited. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, I got arrested. Mm -hmm. But I've always been... Even yeah. this time around? No, not, not okay. this time. I mean, the, the first... Yeah, I remember I asked that question uh, on one of my YouTube videos. Yeah, the one who was surprising, Trudy. I asked the question. And I think African the Traveler uh, actually... I think he watched my video and he said that... Uh, somebody asked so that was me i wanted to know was he arrested this time you know so he wasn't i guess you know what am i is now part of the kenyan family thanks to our sister miss trudy so i guess you will no longer have trouble now <laughs> first time that i came in here i didn't know i mean certain things i got myself into trouble with a camera but 
it didn't stop me from coming back. I actually found my mm. love here in Kenya. Yeah, we so, I mean, I've been coming in and out, and it's a second home for me right now. You know, yeah. recently there is a video that went viral on, on YouTube. A okay. lot of things were being talked there. Mm -hmm. I thought Odema would never mm -hmm. come back to Kenya because Kenyans were like, hey, uh -huh. yeah, you would uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, listen, eh, when I'm there, nobody talks about me. I feel like. Why is nobody talking about me? Mm. <laughs> you know, so whatever that was happening, I saw it. Yeah. But I didn't know why it was happening because mm. I had no clue about that. I had no idea. So if you don't know what he's talking about, there was a scandal going on um, between another Kenyan YouTuber. I think it's uh, Dee Mwango, her brother, and Miss Trudy, and and what they might. There was like kind of a, you know a scandal, and they were friends before. So that I guess. That's what he's talking about right now. But I think that for me, that is background noise. You know, anything that brings negativity into your life, just, you know, you have power to stop those things. So it's up to you to ignore it. And I'm telling you, silence is the best killer in most cases. Just walk out of that situation and just walk out stronger. There is no point of feeding the negativity. Just starve. You know, you see what I mean? Do not feed negativity. Just starve negativity and you will see your life will be much better and less stressful from all the hate and the heat. Okay. I just saw it happening all of a sudden, right? But even I got people, Kenyans, threatening me not to come back to Kenya. If you come back to Kenya, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> when I saw that, I've already booked my ticket that I'm coming to Kenya. So what are you saying? I mean, no one can do anything for me. This is my country. This is my home. It's Africa, you know. So whatever that was happening, I just have to come back home. And that's why I'm here. Oh, wow. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank Actually, you. we're just waiting for the wedding, you know. <laughs> Very soon. Wait for it. I mean, but I don't know where the wedding is going to be. I don't uh, think it's going to be in Kenya, though. Uh, it's it's going to be in Kenya. No, really. Okay. Mm. We're going to pick some other African country apart from our various countries. Uh. Okay, okay. So it has to be in the middle, you know, between Ghana and Kenya. Hmm. Interesting. So everybody has to fly. <laughs> it will be a nice and nice experience. Or, or you can make two weddings, one in Kenya and one in Ghana. You know, what do you think? Anyway, yeah. Wodema, you know, you do a lot, a lot of videos, mm. but recently I've been following you. Yeah. Uh, I've been seeing you talking about China, you know, you know, you have a lot, a lot of courage to talk about things that people wouldn't talk about China. Exactly. Why is it that you have that courage talking that, saying that China, they have like racism, something like that? I, I, I lived in China myself, mm -hmm. and if anybody understands China, I think I will be the perfect person to understand China, because mm. I, all my friends are Chinese, literally. I wow. I speak fluent Chinese, mm. so whatever that was happening in Africa, I felt like these people are taking advantage of our own people. I, mm. I, I, I still love China, no matter what. So, wow. But I just felt like somebody needs to come up right. and let the world know what is happening in China. Right, and this is the case in so, so many countries. Uh, I feel that we restrain for, from saying things, you know, because we don't want, you know, we don't want any scandals and stuff. But on the other hand, when it comes to um, to society matters, it's good to speak out. And, you know, when you're the first domino, then other people will start speaking out. And this has proved to be right in so many situations where one person talks and then just opens and paves way for other people to come out. You know, it just starts a debate. That's the thing. And I think that's a positive thing about it. Just, you know, just... I mean, they're in Africa. They're in all right, can I talk? <laughs> it just, you know, provokes a debate. And yeah, and so I, I, I agree with him 100%. It's good to, you know, to be the first domino in everything and when things matter, actually. Living their best life. But at the same time, they are taking advantage of Africans. You know, whatever privilege that Chinese are enjoying here, you can't enjoy the same thing in China. No way. You can't. Put your last hi in Chinese. Hi. Ni hao, ni hao ma. What it means to Joshi, what a Maya. Aya, ni shang wa wa Hi, that's so funny. No, that's, that's Chinese. Okay, yeah, and right. nowadays do visit China. I mean, um, scared. I, scared of what? Scared of, because, you know, you're talking <laughs> a lot of... Talk, but, okay, no, but I'm not really scared about China. Um, I still got a company in China, uh -huh. which is running right now. Uh -huh. So I still have people in China that works for me. So, I mean, why would I be scared of China? I mean, that... Let me tell you guys, diversify. 
diversify and that's a very nice thing that what am i doing do not just rely on one income stream it's very important to diversify and so i believe that it's um you know it's a great it's a great uh, opportunity when you're doing youtube full time you know just to reinvest whatever it is that you're you know that you have um i was supposed to be there in 2019 march but covid appeared so i couldn't make it but currently i mean it's not even safe to go to china right now that's one of the reasons i've never been to china but my friends are coming my chinese friends are coming to africa to okay. come live their life so okay. why would i even bother okay, myself Odimaya, yeah. you know you do a lot of traveling i would yeah. love to know like how long does it take for you to get a visa to go to a, a country maybe kenya mm -hmm. maybe another country how long does it take the process okay so um some of the african countries i don't need visa especially mm -hmm. when i'm coming to kenya all i need is my passport right mm -hmm. but um when I was going to Namibia, I had to apply for a visa. It took me like almost a month for me to get my visa, right? So basically, some countries it takes two weeks, some countries it takes three days. Like South Sudan, it took three days because it's e visa. So the longest duration it has ever taken me to get a visa is one month. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I didn't know that you needed a visa to go to some African countries. I didn't know. I had no idea. All right, it's nice to know. It's nice to know. And for those of you who like traveling and you don't, you're in Africa and don't like to, there is, you know, you can have a list of countries where, uh, you know, you can travel without a visa because sometimes it can be, you know, really difficult to obtain one. So, I mean, there's just nice to know that there's some countries you can go without a visa. All you need is your passport. Basically, that's the duration. Hey, I saw you in Somalia. Hey, hey I was in Somalia. Hey. It, it, it was one of. You're very daring. I, I, oh, and by the way, guys, if you haven't watched my video to Wodemaya in Somalia, make sure you watch it. I did a reaction video with him being in, you know, on his way to to Somalia and uh, him with the Mundari tribe. So make sure you watch that video right after this one. You will love it. You see, I was even scared myself. Don't, 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 don't be so happy about some things that you see on social media. You know, I was so scared of going to Somalia. But I'm gonna tell you this today that it was one of my best countries that I've ever been to. Yeah. You know, I was scared. Why did you the best? So much fun. Uh -huh. I, I met so many people who, who were like, "What am I?" Here? You know, uh, they, they said Somalis got pirates, so we have to take the boats and go in the middle of the sea to see if you're gonna find some pirates. Uh -huh. But when we got there, there were no pirates. I, I mean, literally, I was so excited, like being in Somalia, like. So it's safe. No, I wouldn't say it's safe. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, but you know, like I would say, Somalia is safe because I had bodyguards. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Okay, yeah, but I believe it's, you know, nowhere is safe 100%. You know, it depends where you are, who you are with. I think when you're with the local people, then you don't really risk anything, but you need to be to watch your back, you know, at all times. So I feel like this video might be, <laughs> might star some, you know, some people because you know in his videos we believe we have a feeling that Somalia is safe and now you can just go freely but he had bodyguards but I understand 100% because when you're going somewhere for the first time and after everything we hear on TV and stuff like that of course you're worried you're scared you don't really know you know so that it, that makes sense to me it makes sense why he had bodyguards <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be honest with you but um it's not what you think yeah right yeah, it's exaggerated. It's, it's exaggerated. Yeah. But uh, I mean, when I got there, I was literally scared. So I had to get bodyguards. I, I had like almost five soldiers that were traveling with me. But in the evening, I felt like, you know what? Let me travel without soldiers. Mm -hmm. And that was when I had my best time. Okay. So it's 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 not safe, but it's not what you think. Okay, guys, yeah. as I had told you, because it's through this, uh, not bad hey. you. it's a hey. celebration party for 200 kids. Okay. Yeah, exactly. How do you feel? I'm so happy for her, you know, like I was really... Oh yeah, and I feel that Miss Trudy is underrated. She is underrated right now. I feel that she, she should have like more than 200,000 subscribers, but Godspeed, okay? Once again, Godspeed, and I know she's getting there because she's creative. She There is something about her, you know, I know she's very shy. You can see the difference between when she's being interviewed and when she's interviewing, the energy is completely different. And you can just tell she's a very, I, I feel that's a vibe I'm getting from her. She's a very reserved person, very shy. And uh, 
Yeah, but she's underrated. I feel, in my opinion, she should have more than, she should be at half a million right now. Really waiting for her to reach this milestone because, mm -hmm. I mean, she's your girlfriend, definitely. And if you're winning, your girlfriend is to win, you know? Mm -hmm. So, basically, no, I mean, I know, right? she deserves more than that, not 200K. I, I feel right. like the work that she put in her videos, right. she should be half a million by now. But, I mean, with time, people will understand. What about you? How do you feel? You're almost a million oh, wow. subscribers. Oh, my no, God. No, it, it feels like I'm just 100 subscribers, you yeah. know, because numbers are just numbers. Yeah. It's all about impact for me. Mm. So, basically, I really want to reach, reach a million, but it's not mm. the main goal in here. All mm. I want is to make an impact. What's your mm. ultimate goal on what you're doing? I just want to sit down with African leaders mm -hmm. and um, ask Eesh. them why they're doing it. Hey, Mungai Eve, the questions. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. You, you're you more comfortable in this exercise where you're interviewing somebody and I love it. I love it. I, love it. I guess it's the best interview I've seen so far, you know, with uh, what am I? In this to Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want them to... Mm -hmm love Africa like the way they love their wives. You know? mm -hmm. I don't know if they really love their wives. But, <laughs> but <laughs> we want them to love Africa or love their various countries the way they love their wives. So I wouldn't say their wives. I would say the way they love themselves. You know, the way they love themselves. Because if, because we always do things for ourselves because we love ourselves more than anybody else. So I would say the way they love themselves, not their wives, because I think there are so many side chicks. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> So basically, all I want to do is someday I just want to sit down with African leaders and ask them all the questions that a lot of people have been asking. Mm -hmm. And uh, that day is coming. That day is coming. And sure. believe me, we want to use the YouTube platform to make an impact. We want to use the YouTube platform to one day build hospital, build schools, build right. anything that will, I mean, change people's lives. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm not here for the numbers or being famous. Or, mm -hmm. Wow, that's mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you're so unique with Demaya because mm -hmm. most of the people that I meet, yeah. they're in YouTube for the numbers. They just want to to hey. hit that milestone and be so excited. you're waiting for 100K, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for 100K. Yeah. You, you should check by now. You're 100K so that we can <laughs> celebrate your 100K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if Munga, right? Munga, yeah. If, it, will, it will definitely come. Even if no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Right. yeah, we just have to... Yeah, 100k! No, 99.7. Yeah. <laughs> 99.7, yeah? yeah? So after you hit 100k, what next? Mm -hmm. What's next? I'm supposed to continue working so hard. Exactly. Uh, you know, I have to I have to make people know what happens exactly in the ghettos. Thank you. I have to make them understand people are suffering there so that we can we can come up with some ways we can help them. I, 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 I think I, I, um, um, at some point in time I'll be able to work with you because, I, like right. I said, I'm... Um, Yes, and you deserve it, Mugai. Honestly, you deserve it so good because we can just tell from your face how genuine you are, what a kind person you are. We can tell you have a driving force that wants you, you know, to, to do greater things. And I know you're going to, to do greater things because if in five months you have managed to be over 100,000 subscribers, I can just imagine what is awaiting you right now. I can just imagine what is awaiting you right now. And you deserve every single success that you have in this one. So it's fantastic. And I think that you should uh, just go for it. Keep working hard. Keep showcasing the stories. Keep giving hope. Create initiatives in the ghetto. You know, you want to empower the, the young people in the ghetto. Then go for it. Go for it. Because I'm telling you, um, you're on the right path and you have found the right niche, you know, but just by uplifting others. So, good job. Honestly, <laughs> I love you so much already. I love it. So, I have to go and watch some of the videos that you're doing on your channel and, you know, the shows, I mean, the stories that you're telling on your channel. Yeah, let me let me go and come back and uh, I'll find time and then I'll Aww. take you there. Maybe yeah. nice. just look for, look for something that you think we can do. I mean, if it has to be money, it's money. If it has to be a project you have to build in the ghetto, that's what I want you to do. Like, yeah. bringing people out of the ghetto, right? Yeah. I'm not I, I'm not saying it's the best. You can imagine something like Mongai Eve Foundation, Mongai Eve um, 
um, music agency, Mungai Eve Primary School. Yo, there are so many opportunities and it's just a question of starting slowly by slowly and your followers are ready to help and to, you know, to contribute to the project because that is changing lives and just leaving a, just leaving a blueprint on the app and just saying I was here, you know, I was here and I changed lives. So go for it, hundred percent. Go for it. Place to live, right? Sure but mm -hmm. you can make a difference wow. in the ghetto. Exactly. You, you can use your YouTube platform again. Let's say we are raising ten thousand dollars for people living in the ghetto to build yeah. school, hospital, whatever. Yeah, but then last time we did a video with Trudy, it was mm. so sad because girls in the ghetto they can't even afford a sanitary pad. It's so sad. This is when you come in. Yeah. This is what you have to. I mean, crave for. Mm. This is this should be your goals. This should be. And can somebody tell me, for some reason, um, condoms are free for men in Kenya. No cap, okay. I'm so serious about this. Condoms in Kenya are free for men, but sanitary towels are not, and they are so expensive. Make it make sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. I feel that they should, it should be the opposite, you know, you know, just to prevent all these pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies and all these women after that being, um, you know, being single mothers and being left alone by their, by their boyfriends because, you know, so I believe there is a problem and somebody should change that, you know, I mean, I think our leaders should change that and just give free access to sanitary towels to the women in Kenya be your aim to bring people out of that place you got know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean making an impact is everything do you know how, what would to take for somebody who can't afford a meal and then you go and give them a meal or you show them how to make a meal yeah. they'll be so excited like excited. you'll be in their minds all the time and that is why i'm saying that impact and that's exactly what um i i love that what he just said and i know i mean i've always been told and taught that do not give fish to us to somebody i won't help you you will eat the fish and then what will happen then you'll be hungry and you need more fish but let me show you how to fish and then you can you know do it yourself and you don't have to depend on somebody else so that is creating an impact okay so just show people how to fish how to farm so they can you know they can depend on themselves and not depend on other people impact i think that's that's a very good definition of, uh, you know, creating an impact. For the numbers. You get what I mean? Yeah. If you got 100K, it's still a number. Yeah. But right. do you know what it will take when you put smile on people's faces? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I'm exactly. not here for anything. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's so Make amazing. an impact, you know. That's so amazing, Maya. I would love to know, are you a full-time YouTuber or you do a... a full-time, full-time YouTuber, full time. Like, mm. I, I, I don't know why I didn't start this earlier. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes hey. I regret. You but know. I saw your video that you took so long to get to a thousand subscribers. Two years. Hey, you know, it took me two years. Never give up. Never give up. But I believe that it took him two years because he didn't really know actually how YouTube works, you know, because I think when you understand how YouTube works, then, you know, it helps you a lot, uh, you know, just to. You know, just to move forward. So I believe that could be the reason why uh, he did. He, it took him so long. You know, because I didn't understand okay. what YouTube is all about. I was just thinking that I was just having fun. You know. <laughs> yeah. But once yeah, so I got to understand YouTube, mm. I think it. When I had a hundred k, I think it took me five months mm. to get two hundred k. Wow. And now it takes me two hundred to get two months to get another hundred k. So right. it, it's all about wow. finding that niche. It's all about finding what people want to see, and then make it yours and make sure. it happen. Mm -hmm. What would you love to tell to to say to YouTube? I mean, content creators in Kenya, mm -hmm. some up, uh, the upcoming, yeah. you know, there are so, <laughs> there are others who have been there for so long. They are trying. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not working. Yeah. They are even about to give up. Yeah. They are giving up. Actually, they've used a lot of money on that YouTube and nothing's coming in return. What would you love mm. to tell them? First of all, Kenyan content creators should learn to work together. I believe that there's so much competition in this country. Right. Everything feels like a competition right. for people. Like, okay, we, we 
having an event like this. Yeah. When I was in, if I organize this event in Ghana, you see every Ghanaian content creator. What are you- right. And I'm telling you, competition is uh, an enemy. You know, because we all have something to learn for each other. And especially with YouTube, when you're, you know, when you're, you know, when you're collaborating with other YouTubers, I think you have so much and so much to get from. It's a win-win situation. So thinking that I will not be with this person because they, they, they'll they be better than me, and that is just not the way to go at all. So I agree with him 100%. And the competition should stop because we're trying to build. It's just a question, you know, of building each other, you know, without drama, you know, without all that stuff. So I feel it's not uh, the way to go just to keep, your, the content to yourself, keep your ideas to yourself. Let's build each other as a community, and that is actually the way to go. I think so. You big, small, you see all of us. I think you see all of us. You're having the same thing that I'm having in my heart. You know, mm. um, I think the day before yesterday, yesterday me and my director, mm. we reached we reached out some some content creators, especially mm. those who do those who do blogging yeah. and and celebrity mm. updates. Mm. And we reached them out. We told them that we want to come up with something. Exactly. Maybe we can we can we can come up with a whatsapp group mm. we, we we can be discussing if somebody's having an event yeah. we can be going as a All team we do you. we do something as a team thank you. and we are going to earn respect mm. we're going to exchange ideas mm. some things like that and mm. others who are not even willing to join maybe they thought it's not a nice idea <laughs> <don't> know. <laughs> you know it's, it's just the competition in the country is yeah. terrible mm. True. everyone wants Honestly, yeah, I think it's not a good thing. You can imagine if you do, if you collaborate with somebody, you know, their their families, their friends will be like, oh, who is this guy? Or, oh, who is this chick? And they will just go and subscribe to your channel. You will probably just gain one person or five or ten. But it's it's a it just helps build your channel, you know, and it can even open you to new ideas, so you can diversify you know, your channel and the, you find a different niche and, you know, because you have to keep growing if you need to, um, if you need to, you know, to retain people in your channel and not give them the same content over and over and over again. And, you know, just trying to diversify everything. So it doesn't make sense. Just, you know, just the togetherness, you know, will just build you. And just like most people say, you know, uh, your network is your net worth. It can take you places and miles, you know, so. I want to be in their own team, which is so wrong. Yeah. Mm. Listen, we are all doing one common thing, yeah? And we all have to know that whatever we're doing, it's, at the end of the day, we are, it's going to benefit the society. Right. All right? So, working together as one, it's the best way to go. Yeah. Enough of the competition. But I, but I think in Kenya, <laughs> they are working together because they want to get that exclusive news <laughs> before anyone else gets it. Oh, it doesn't <laughs> make sense. Uh, mm. I, believe me, I'll tell you my secret. Mm. My secret is meeting everybody. Even if you have two subscribers. See, do you have a family member? Yeah. Thank you. So, if you have two subscribers, hi, I just met one of my... Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You met Watermai and so what? Yeah? And then your two family members come and say, who is Watermai? I don't know this guy. Mm. They'll just come and subscribe. I gained two Imagine. subscribers from you. Huh. Do you understand me? True. So, hey, this man is so wise. Watermaya, he's got the nuggets. You can, I think he's the kind of person you can just sit and listen to him for hours. You know, I love it because it makes sense. And I feel that the experience he's had over the years has really helped him become the person he is. In Africa, people want to see like, oh, he has, he needs to have like 60,000, 100,000 before they want to collab with you. Mm. It's not about the numbers. True. It's about the content, the impact. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. So never underestimate any content creator. Even if you have one subscriber and you reach out to me and I believe that we can create something okay. together, I'll, I'll appear because I... Right. I agree. Never underestimate. Let me tell you, you can be down here today. You can be up here today and I will come all the way up. So if you look down upon me because I, you know, because I don't have a good job, because uh, my family this, or because, I mean, I don't have as many subscribers as you do, you never know 
what can happen in the future. So just respect everybody. Respect everybody despite where they come from, their status, the, the job, or in YouTube in this case, how many subscribers they have because you do not know about tomorrow because that same person that you were despising yesterday might be your boss tomorrow, might have a bigger impact than you tomorrow, and then you will be running to them like trying to you know, get into the good books, but it's too late, you know, so never underestimate anybody because you feel that you're, you're better than them or, yeah, humility, humility is the key and it can take you places. I know you have a family member and your family member is going to subscribe to my channel mm -hmm. yeah. and that is what makes what am I? I don't have any other secret and I keep on telling people, learn to work with everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it becomes competition for each and every one. Sure. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What are other secrets that would tell to some of the content creators? Be authentic. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Right. You see, when I started making videos, people were like, why do you wear shorts? Why do you wear t-shirt? But that is me. See, I'm not even... See, today I was, I'm telling you guys, man. Even I, me, they tell I, me that I, 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 is so poor. Mm. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I was fighting with them because I didn't want to wear you. I'm like, can I wear my slippers? He said, no, no. I'm like, okay, you know, just learning to be yourself will take you far. True. Right. Because nothing will impress you. Like, nothing yeah. impresses me. Exactly. You are unique. You are unique. Just be yourself. I'm just being me, doing my thing, doing what I love, mm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's so simple, it's so That's kind. It. That's it. Yeah, I mean, just right. be yourself. So I just want to tell our content creators, be authentic. Imagine, you don't have money to buy clothes. But every day, you show us different clothes. Mm -hmm. No, your audience want to see different clothes every day. Yeah. No, you don't have more money. What do you do? Exactly. Yeah, I think it's, um, that's an old thing where people used to say, fake it until you make it. That thing... Do not listen to that. Fake it until you make it. No. You know, the more you fake it, the more you, you're you not actually, people won't believe in you anymore. You know, like people will be like, oh, this guy is always looks sharp, but does not have anything for him. So do not fake it. Just be yourself. You know, if, you know, just be yourself. And the money you're using to buy expensive stuff because you want to please the society and you want to make believe save that money to do important things you know and and just build yourself as a person and your career as well so no don't fake it no 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 i don't like that expression fake it until you make it for who you know do things because that's who you are be true to yourself you can lie to everybody else but just respect yourself in, enough not to lie to yourself period what are some other things that you'd ad advise them to do? You know, for me, I usually tell them you need to pray so hard, you need to be consistent, mm -hmm. you need to have patience because God God blesses us differently. Maybe my day is today, yours exactly. tomorrow. Thank you. Some, such Thank things. you. And um, I, 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 I will also say patience, discipline, and then consistency. When I say mm -hmm. patience, the fact that this scene, Munga Eve, is getting like 100,000 subscribers in five months, doesn't mean that you are not you can't do it. Yeah. It took me two years to get a thousand, but it took you five months to get a hundred thousand. It took me actually two days to get a thousand subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I guess less than two days. Yeah. Two days, and it took me two years. Imagine. So we are all different in our own way. Yeah. So what I'm gonna say is like, be yourself, have that patience, discipline yourself in terms of like knowing that. You're on your own lake, you're on your own lane, doing what you love, that's it. And consistency, upload, if you can upload every day, do it. Okay. And you have any issues with Kenyan content creators? You know, I've seen most of them trying to attack you, I don't know. I don't, I, I have, listen, I have, I have no issue with anybody. Let me tell you guys, if you know that you've made it in life when you have the hate, let me tell you, you will never, ever, ever get any negative stuff uh, when you're doing nothing, okay? It's just like when you break a glass, you know, that's what I tell my children, like, when they break something, I'm like, it means that you were doing something. It means you were probably clearing it away or you were probably washing it. So that's okay, but because if you were not doing those things, then it wouldn't have happened. So when you start, you know, creating scandals and being the talk of the town, that means you're doing good things. So just you need those people and they're going to push you to do better 
because you know they will just it's 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 a like nice energy you know just some nice energy that just you know that fuels your motivation that fuels your ambitions and all that so i feel what demaya has reached a point where everybody wants to tear him down you know so they're just trying to tear him down but he's stronger than that and i feel that he uses that to push him higher actually sometimes i sit home and i think about it i'm like hmm, i've not done anything to anybody it's just so they are not like you have beefed you before see, that, that, there is nothing like if you ask me i've seen those videos right if you ask me if you ask me what have you done to this guy or what have you done to this girl i have no idea yeah. I, I can sit in my room think ask myself what have i done you know i've not done anything i that's why i just put a blind eye it's okay say whatever you want to say but it's all up to you at the end of the day they so I said this earlier do not feed the, the the negative energy starve it and I guess that's a choice uh what am I and truly made by not talking about it and just letting it go starve the negative energy do not feed it don't I mean they they don't know that the internet never forget true and all these things will going to come back to them true, it's you true. you cannot embrace hate with hate yeah mm-hmm. okay what am I do you think content creators in Kenya we we are like okay i wouldn't love to say we are not creative mm. but most of us try doing things that have been done mm. you know i usually encourage my people yeah. to stop doing things that have been done so many times mm. and if you have to do them do them in a in a creative mm. way yes, yeah, that's what i tell them do yeah, i mean that's what I, I i always say like be creative be authentic mm-hmm. i mean there's tons of stuff to do on the internet all you can do is to stay true to yourself and bring something that belongs to you. Mm-hmm. I mean we need your own signature. I'm not saying that everything is done or any see. Reason why I subscribe to your channel because you are you're a host. subscriber. I thought you just watch. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, no. no. I now I'm need to turn on the notification. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I need to turn it on. It's on. Yeah? So you see I'm a subscriber to your channel. What I, what I'm trying to say why I subscribe because I was seeing something different. Mm-hmm. Because no one was going to the wood to tell us the stories of the people living in the wood. Yeah, right. I, I think that's what, that's what most people know about, know me with. That's what they identify me with. Exactly. And, that's your signature. And right. any time that I watch similar video on somebody's channel, I'm like, oh, maybe you are her inspiration. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to think about. True. Listen, I I was in, in Ghana and I talked about, I had a meetup like this. Mm-hmm. And I told people that, can you guys start doing videos about villages in Africa? nobody did it <laughs> then i went myself and did my morning routine as a village boy in ghana mm-hmm. and the video went viral and then now i saw people doing my morning routine as a village <laughs> like, I, I came to a meeting told you guys that it's time for you guys to do it <laughs> nobody did it until i went to do it myself mm-hmm. and then now i go to the internet and i see it all over the place yeah. so i'm just i just have one message just telling you guys be authentic yeah it's a, it's a question of being a visionary you need to uh you need to be really creative I mean YouTube is a creative space if you want to really you know be different from other people and I guess that's the reason why I chose uh to do reaction videos because some people do it but they don't nobody was doing it this way so and I feel that's why my channel is growing because you guys really you know love this you know the 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 type of video that I'm making so let me know in the comments below if you love the format because I feel that you know it's it's a very um unique format of actually doing reaction videos so let me know in the comments below let me know if you like what i'm doing be creative bring something yeah. that will know that this belongs to you right. and that's it hey trudy you're shouting ever come up here and trudy is going to get what guys me too i don't me too i don't drink by the way but see there's so many people they're saying you've got to there's no nyamachoma without alcohol that's what they say but i mean nyamachoma goes with alcohol yeah yeah you do she's nyamachoma and i'm the alcohol anyway guys how long yeah let's just acknowledge they they make a beautiful channel and i think they met when both of them were starting they were not this big and now you know it just it's a power couple because you need to be with somebody who actually comprehends you know your passion who uh you know who supports you who pushes you to do better 
And I think they're that for each other. And woo, those earrings, Miss Trudy. What? I love them. I love them. How long have you been together? I mean, two, two and, and a half years. Two 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 and a half years. Yeah, we are, we, are very, we are very strict with that time. Yeah. Okay, I was asking, when are we having the wedding? She told you to ask that question. No, I asked her. Yes. She told you to ask her. Maybe she wants it so bad. Yeah. And, uh, 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 <laughs> anyway, let me not see it. Answer this. Anyway, let me not interrupt you. Very soon. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, oh, the Maya. Yeah. So you tell you te, you trying to you try to tell them to do vil, what what is it called? Like, like, I mean, we need to have content creators in Africa. All the, the job they do is to stay in the village. That's it. Just to bring us content from the village. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we you're giving me ideas. You know, I'm a village girl. I can <laughs> I can I can do another thing. <laughs> stay in the village and bring us authentic village life. Yeah. Represent us who, who we are. You know. I, I brought the initiative of Africa to the world, traveling from city to city in Africa to say, I mean, celebrate Africans or show Africa in a beautiful way. But if I had a chance, I would have stayed in the village. Yeah. But this is my initiative and I have to keep doing it. I did a video in South Sudan. Yo guys, I mean, the people behind are just distracting. <laughs> They're distracting, but yeah, I love, I love the, you know, the meetup looks to have been a big success. So it's really nice. It was about um, the tribe videos, and it had like over 2.2 million views right now. That is a video that it's not my thing. I just went to the village, and I felt like, you know what? I would love to create content out of this. I was so scared because I don't create content like that. I don't know what my audience are going to say. But when I uploaded a video, everybody was like, wow, wow, wow. Hey, do more of this video. Do more of this. No, I have a different niche. So I went to um, Namibia, and I went to visit the Himba. If I come back to Kenya, I would definitely go to the Maasai. Oh, now wow. it has become part of mm -hmm. my country. Okay. So this is what I'm telling you. Bring something, let it be your signature. Yeah, and diversify. And make it yours. Wow, that's so amazing. Guys, we've been please with Wadi and Maya. Tell them please, to subscribe. Please, you better subscribe to your channel, man. She's doing an amazing job. Mm. I mean, she called me off guard, but I still have to represent. <laughs> and um, please, do me a favor. Subscribe. It's by force to be part of the YouTube family. <laughs> Exactly. Guys, continue subscribing. We've been with Wodemaya. In case you don't know him, he's the biggest YouTuber in Africa. Go and check him out. He doesn't want that signature. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Continue subscribing. We'll meet next time. So, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching my reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that, you know, you learned so much. And I love the inspiration in all these videos because I feel that, you know, Africa is rising and, you know, and it's a young generation that is really changing the face of Africa and repainting the African image. So Africa, African stories told by the Africans and building each other as Africans. So until next time, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. Until next time. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.